Hi everybody, Alex Aplo here from Expert Forex. Welcome to today's webinar. In this webinar, we're going to be looking at optimizing uh, Forex robots and it's really up to you guys to come forward with any optimizations that you require. So far, I've had one, requ one request that's been for the pound USD. Yeah, that's right. And it is for the moving average multiplier EA. Uh, they say they want it on the one hour time frame. So uh, I've had that one request coming through. I can see there's quite a few people in the room. Um, anybody else with any other requests other than, uh, other than that one? Uh, otherwise, I'll go straight into that particular uh, optimization. Just give you a bit of time to send through any requests that you might have. Nothing coming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into that first request that came through. It's, going to, it's basically a request to optimize the pound uh, for the uh, moving average multiplier over the last year um, using the one hour uh, time frame. So I'm going to go straight into that and let me start sharing screens here. and. Um, this is going to be quite interesting because I'm actually going to be logging into a, a remote e, uh, computer actually right next to me, but because they're separate from the computer I'm using right now, it's a remote, uh, and I'm going to be using a Chrome desktop to do that. So let me go straight into this optimization exercise. So let's share the screen and away we go now hopefully you can see the screen you can see this is actually just a page on chrome and there is my other computer screen so i'll be i'm going to be hopping around between these two computers um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually uh make this a full screen and now you can see my full screen on the other computer. And why I use another computer is because uh, these optimizations take quite a lot of resource. And, uh, uh, and I don't use my normal computer for that kind of activity. So the request has come through for the moving average multiplier for the pound USD. Uh, the uh, and we're going to do it for the last year from uh, last Friday to uh, uh, to the 16th of August uh, last year, and I'm going to uh, be doing this um, on and, and uh, let's just have a look. I wonder if we should do this on the four hour or the one. I think I'm going to start with the four hour because that is uh, a bit faster. And also uh, the four hours that gives you actually much, much more reliable uh, details. And I'm going to use a spread of two for the pound. A lot of brokers give you a lot less, but I'm going to use a spread of two. So we're almost ready to, to, to get going. Um, uh, just, I just want to see a, a show of hands in the room. Um, have any of you done any optimization before? Let's see. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Thanks for that. Right. Looks like it looks like we actually have very few people that have done um, optimization. You can use the chat facility or the question and answer facility. The chat facility is most probably uh, uh, a lot better. Okay. So the, the trick with optimization, firstly, is to have really good data. And I have a, a, a special package that I've loaded, and you can get details about this package. Let me just see if I can get those details for you. A few years ago, in 2017, I produced this video that shows you how you can get uh, almost perfect uh, back, uh, back testing data to use for your back testing. Uh, you can go and look at this video. Uh, I'll just I'll just share this with you guys. Uh, and here we go. You can actually see there's the link up there, but I'll, I'll share it with you. Hopefully I can find a way of sharing this paste and I'm going to uh, send it to 
all attendees and away we go. Let's see. Okay, so hopefully you've got this link. And uh, why this is important, that's the starting point of any optimization. You really do need uh, good data to, uh, to um, use. And the problem with brokers is they normally have very really limited data. If you try and go back uh, for one minute on a one minute time frame, you'll almost probably only be able to go back for two two uh, weeks. Uh, five minutes, you might be lucky to get a month's worth of, of data. This package gives you data from 2002, I think, or 2003, all the way right up until yesterday. So it's pretty good a service. And uh, and when, you, when I use it, it adds those blocks. You must probably not have those blocks in there. And uh, I can then access the information and when I click on here you can actually see the tick data that's that's come through for the pound and um, it says the most recent there's the most recent date refresh it I'm going to use a GMT or set of zero and it's going to be based on the European um, uh, daylight saving basis so th so that's the other thing that allows you to do so we say okay okay so now we're going to do the moving average multiplier so the the trick here is to actually set up uh, oh so, sorry i might to just shoot through any questions if you do have any questions uh, because sometimes i assume uh, some pre-knowledge um i'm going to be using the strategy tester you get there by saying view strategy tester and the strategy tester can test expert advisors and indicators uh, and i'm testing in that uh, that uh, expert advisor so so how the how optimization works is here's a list of all of the inputs that um one would use for this particular the moving average multiplier and what you then do is you uh, you basically give it a range that you want to test. So, so for instance, if, if I want to uh, uh, um, optimize that particular that particular line over there, I want to uh, I want the program to run from a four moving average right to a twenty four moving average with uh, uh, jumps of two. So it'll go four, six, eight, twelve, and and so on. So that's how it works. You start at a number, you you step it or jump by uh, by a certain number, and then you go to the next number. Now, the, so the trick of optimization is to get these ranges as um, as 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 wide as possible, but also not too wide because if you make it too wide, the machine works too hard. So I'm just going to run through uh, here are all the settings for the uh, moving average multiplier. You can download this from EA Factory. It will already have all of those uh, set up for you. And, uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, there are four methods to trade the, uh, the, the uh, moving average multiplier. You can trade a, 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 a trend and bounce method. So it will go sideways and trend. Uh, you can uh, tr uh, tr trade a trend only basis. You can trade a sideways only basis. And then you can trade what we call a, a moving average only basis. But I'm going to test I'm, I'm not going to guess which strategy is the best i'm going to actually say to you start with the first strategy and tick the first one and end with the last so it's going to test all of them and then uh, for the moving averages i'm going to test that particular range that particular range uh, and what you do is you click you tick the ones you want to to optimize and you don't click the ones that you do and what i'm going I know this, yeah. so I'm not only going to optimize the important settings. So Bollinger Bands, I want to see which period um, uh, will work. Uh, and I've got quite a wide range there. And then a deviation, in fact, you know, that's fine. One, and I'm stepping to three, we'll see. And then the gaps, I've got, a, I've got my gap settings there. And, uh, and then I'm only going to optimize what kind of stops and targets should we be using and there are the settings for those and 
what uh, stops and targets for trending market and I, I'm going to also optimize the stops and targets for a sideways market. Then further, I'm going to ask her to optimize which is the best time of day to, to, to trade. Uh, is it from, the, and I'm going to test from 0 to 23 and then the end time would be from 1 to 24. Okay, so that, that basically sets my test up. Uh, it's going to run all of these that I've ticked and test all of those combinations at the same time. Just shut through any questions that you might have. Um, but uh, th that's ba the basic test. So, so the, this is how you set your test up and you just say, okay. And now we're ready to test. So before I test, what I do is I do a run. I just do a run without clicking the optimization box. If I click the optimization box, it will do the optimization. I just want to do a normal run with the settings that are already in there. I just want to see if, if it works. That's basically what it, and then it will also create the data. Oops, I've got this on every tick. I'm actually going to stop that. I'm, I don't want to use every tick to start with. I'm going to be using open prices. Every tick is the most accurate way, uh, but it is extremely slow. Uh, open prices is less accurate, but it is extremely fast. So for this webinar, I'm going to use open prices, but I will convert it back to tick. And I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to optimize an EA. So here we go. We're going to go with open and I'm going to just test if this thing works. So let's have a look. Okay. All right. So it's worked. But what it has said, it said, it said we're starting with $10,000. We are going to make $6,000 loss if we work with the settings that are currently in this EA. So that's no good. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to uh, to make a six thousand dollar loss over here uh, using the current settings. So now we're going to optimize all of those ones that I've ticked. We're going to opt ask it to optimize all of them at the same time. So so there, there's going to be millions and millions of of variations. So we click op optimize. And we click start. So now it will go and test. And here you can see it's just, it's just millions and millions of millions. Now I must point out that it's only testing 10,000 of those millions and millions and millions because I have a special program running the genetic algorithm. And I'll show you how to activate that. And it will, it will automatically go and find the best alternatives right up front. So you don't have to test all those zillions and zillions of uh, variations. It uh, will shortcut and allow you. Now this testing is going quite fast. As you can see, I'm already a quarter of a way through and it's going pretty well. And let's see. And what you can do now is you can already start looking at the results that have come through. So we go um, profit, uh, uh, so you can sort it. There's the loss losses that have come up so far, and there are the profits that have come up so far. So it is working quite well. The best profit so far is seven thousand six hundred, and it has still sort of halfway still to go. Uh, so what it's doing, it's testing most of those alt the combinations that we have set. Um, and I, I can't even pronounce that number. It's just too big. But it's testing zillions and zillions and then finding the, the, the best combinations out of those zillions and then testing uh, those. So that's why you also, uh, when you're doing optimization, you will very seldom get the same results over and over again because the genet genetic algorithm uh, might work slightly different from time to time. I see there's no questions coming through. I hope you all following me quite nicely. If you, there is a question, please just send it through. Okay, so we're almost there. You can see this this one's going quite fast. In fact, it's uh, it's going to be uh, less than two and a half minutes to do this full optimization. So let's have a look. Okay, it's uh, you can see it's almost finished there. It's the one more push. Come on. Why it's not finishing off? Okay, so the best results, and I'll just push them up. 
the best result is 15,000. Now, remember, we're starting with 10,000. Uh, it's saying the best result is 150% return on your money um, using the optimized settings. Now, there are the optimized settings. So how you load these optimized settings, so that's a big jump from the $6,000 loss, we have now found better settings that will give us a roughly uh, 15,000. So now to load those 15,000 into our um, EA settings, we set, we, we, I, I right click and I say set input parameters. So now what it's done, it's loaded those settings, those special settings in here. And if I now run the test, uh, uh, if I now run this without optimization, it will only run those particular settings. And it should bring that number uh, as the result. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just click start. There, it's already done it fast. Oh, there we are. We've got it. Okay, so that, those are the settings. So we've got our settings, but they are done on open prices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run those same settings on tick. Now remember the results. We've got 15,100. Let's see what tick brings. Tick is the most precise method. It's absolutely the most precise method that you can test. I'm going to start here and away we go. All right, now you can see tick is slower because it's so precise. It's actually taking every single tick of, inform of, of price change that has happened over the last year into account. Uh, the previous method only, only took the opening price of every candle into account. So it's, it's quite a big difference in terms of accuracy and and so on so um yeah while we're waiting for that any questions i see i've got a very quiet bunch here in the in in, in the uh, uh webinar to, today um thank goodness for for um uh, peter for uh, sending through that the, the first test that we're going to do now I, I can do a whole lot of tests you can see they do do not take long uh we've only uh, about 12, 12 minutes into the webinar and we, we've we already finished the first uh, optimization. That's how fast optimization, optimizations go. Um, now this, um, this every tick is, is taking quite a long time, but let's, let's just let it run. It's, it's almost taking as long to do one optim, a uh, one run of, uh, tick data than, um, uh, the uh, one run of tick data than the whole optimization itself. Uh, while it's going, you can actually see a, a chart uh, that uh, brings up the results as, as it's going on. Um, the, uh, you can also see the trading in an, a particular account. Um, you can see that the first few trades were not that good, and, uh, but then they improved dramatically after that. And it shows you the account balance and you can just follow it through all the way through. The count balance is currently 20,000, um, but it's still, it's still trading. So, uh, so you can watch the, uh, the account move. You can watch the graph move. And uh, at the end, you'll see the report. Okay, so there's the report. Okay, so now, now what we've seen, we've seen a drop. It dropped from 15,000 to 13,000. Now, these are, are the real results because these are the most accurate. They are take, they, they, these are the results that are the closest to live trading that you can get. So these are the actual accurate results. And this is the actual result of this uh, optimization. So what I'm going to do and I don't think I've activated it. I'm just going to take a photo of those results and I'm going to let you have the set file for this particular optimization. So let's capture it. Come on. Capture. And we'll just capture this for you. 
Oh, we just need that bit. Now you see the accuracy you can, by this blue green line. You can see the accuracy is quite good. Uh, I'm going to just cut it to size so that we don't have unnecessary. And I'm going to paste this in the meeting uh, for today. Um, and I'll call this something as I'll just call it the GDP optimization. Optimization. Oh, that's good enough. Save. So that's a picture that I've just saved. But the the real benefit is going to come now when I save the settings. Now I'm going to show you how I save the settings. We go into properties. Remember the settings are in here. We want to remember them. So we go save. And I'm going to call this what it is. So it's it's the MAM. Um, Great British Pound USD. Uh, one year. And today's date is the 18th of August. And it's for the four hour time frame. Uh, four hour. And um, yeah, I think that's uh, descriptive enough for us to know what the settings are. So now if we uh, want to use those settings, and I'm not uh, I'm not suggesting that the optimized settings are the very best settings that you can use, but they do give you an above average chance of succeeding. Then you then we, and I'm going to just save that. Save. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually just uh, to, to finish the it off. I'm going to close this, and I am going to see if I can get out of this. Full scale. All right, so now we're back in, into Chrome. It's, it's, a, it's a fantastic. I, I, I was actually working on another computer, for, you know, uh, and uh, uh, showing you all of this. So uh, I'm going to go into um, the setups forum. Here is the 18th of August. We're going to just say a new topic, and we'll say the 18th of August. August um, optimization. Why I'm showing you this is that you can actually go in uh, optimization um, webinar. You can actually go and uh, see all of this information um, straight away. So I'm going to just copy that picture. That was that one. We go. Uh, oh, uh, it's because it is uh, in the other computer. I can't copy it across from one computer to the next. So I will post that after uh, into the uh, web uh, the, the the meeting post. Here is the meeting post. I'll just say uh, first optimization done. USD, moving average multiplier. So that, that's how fast it is to actually do a uh, optimization and produce a set file of one year from one year, and it's the 18th of August, and it is the four hour. Okay, so uh, below here, uh, I will attach the set file and you'll have those settings at your disposal. You can then load them into your computer and use them if you like. And we'll post this. Okay. All right, so uh, any questions on that process? You saw that took, took uh, um, less than 30 minutes and we did the whole thing. We I wasted a bit of time with files and things like that but the actual optimization took a very a, a very little time tonight okay so um I, I haven't had any further requests for any other optimizations we've done that pound one um if uh, i was hoping that uh, there would be a, a few more requests coming through today uh 
and then uh, we'll do the same thing and during the next webinar which will be on Thursday at 8.30. Oh, 8 30 local time uh, what, uh, when you book you will be given your own local time for this particular uh, meeting so i hope you found this interesting and that it's giving you an idea of how quickly you can actually optimize your um, eas it need to be a big a big event you can see how quickly i did it and and, and now you've got an example the only limitation that you would have is that I do have um, that data program in there. I have sent through the uh, link for the data, uh, for, for the data if you wanted. Um, it is always good to get, and there's also a lot of free data on, on the uh, uh, internet. If you Google free Forex uh, historical data, you almost probably find a whole list of, of, of people that supply free data. It's always good to use that kind of data because it's um, it goes back a lot uh, longer than your broker data would go. So from me, Alex Deploy, thanks for your attendance and cheerio. Bye.